Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dan, and welcome back to my kitchen for another 3D printer unboxing and review. Today, I'm joined by the fabulous Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo, and we're gonna unbox her. Light work. The user manual. This looks like a standard Quark Y 3D printer, but I have noticed a few differences with this. The touchscreen display for the 3D printer is already mounted to the top and it just flips up. As well as the top of the 3D printer and the front are just made of plastic rather than glass. The Ace Pro. I'm very impressed. There were only nine bolts. That's it. So here are the filament tubes. This is the accessory box that came with it. Damn it. It's not edible. Activate it. Activate. 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 Activate carbon for air filtering. So this does come with a spool holder if you're only going to be using one spool of filament. However, because I have the Ace Pro, which is the four spool filament system, I'm not gonna be using the spool holder. So the Ace Pro just sits on top. This cable then gets connected from the printer to the Ace Pro, and the filament hub module gets installed at the back. Right here. Wow, how nice. Filament hub. This. And the filament Teflon tubes go into all four of these and then into the filament hub. Don't throw away the blue clips. The last step is to use the Activate Carbon. And smush it in there. Let's go ahead and move it to the print room and start some prints. After plugging in the printer, I turned it on for the first time and went through the setup instructions. I added the printer to my Wi-Fi and then used the QR code to link it to my Anycubic account with my phone. I inserted the USB drive that came with the printer and it went through the calibration procedure. I also received four rolls of filament with this printer and placed them into the Ace Pro, which has an RFID system to automatically detect branded filament. However, you can also manually enter the brand, color, and material on the screen for other filament. To get started printing, you can download the Anycubic Slicer from their website or install it from the files on your USB flash drive. My first print was Echo's mask that my buddy Kev modeled over on Wireframe. After throwing it in the slicer, I oriented it to the bottom face, added tree supports, and then left everything else stock. I sliced it and sent it to the printer. For our first print, this came out extremely nice. There was no major color differences, the Z banding was very minimal, and the supports came off super easily. I also needed to print the other side of the mask. After loading it into the slicer, I had to rotate it 45 degrees to fit on the build plate. I then sliced it and sent it to the printer. I was a little nervous about the support placement and it having to print perfectly over these massive overhangs, but I managed to print it just fine and it came out great. I found these flexible crocodile keychains that would be perfect to test the multicolor printing. I loaded in black, yellow, green, and white filament into the Ace Pro and updated their color profiles in the filaments tab. I then imported the 3MF file into the slicer. I synchronized my Ace Pro with the new filaments on the slicer and then had to recolor the crocodile. I also used a cylinder to boolean out a keychain hole in the tail. I then cloned it to fit 22 of them on a single build plate, sliced it, and then sent them to be printed. For being so small, the prints came out incredibly clean and there are no failures or issues. I also found this performance brake desk pen holder and decided to print it. I enabled the ironing setting for all the parts in the slicer and the prints came out looking great. I used super glue to attach all the parts and everything snapped together really well. The final product looked really cool. And for my final print, I thought that I should make a Labubu. Yes, you heard me right, a Labubu. And just like before, I used super glue to attach all the parts and they snap together easily. I'm very sorry for what I've done. Quick spec details on the printer. It has a 250 millimeter cubed build space and can print up to 600 millimeters per second at 44 decibels. I know I didn't touch on it too much in the video, but the filament system is also a filament dryer. Not only can you dry your filament, you can dry your filament while you're printing. 
It supports almost all major filament brands and different types. The printer itself is a core XY design, which means it's fast, smooth, and precise. It also has resonance compensation, which helps eliminate all those repeated patterns when you're printing at high speeds. And if you ever need to do maintenance on it, the hot end disassembles in seconds, making it really easy to clean or swap out. And for the price, the S1 by itself is $549, but it's currently on sale for $379. Whereas the S1 combo is $749, but it's currently on sale for $529. It's definitely a great deal. And for my opinion, in which I know all of you care so deeply about, the Anycubic S1 combo genuinely surprised me. I had this out of the box, set up, and in the workshop ready to print within 15 minutes. The Ace Pro being a filament dryer is fantastic. Even though I don't use filament dryers too much because I typically go through the entire roll when I'm printing big props and swords, it's definitely great to have on hand. And throughout all of my testing, even the hundreds of crocodiles, there was not a single failure. All of my prints came out super clean and precise, and I was really impressed with it. This machine is extremely fast, it's very responsive, and really reliable. So whether you're just starting out, trying to find your first printer, you're a hobbyist, or you're someone that's been printing for quite a while now, like myself, this printer is definitely a solid choice. I really like this machine a lot. It's definitely one that I'm going to keep in my arsenal, and I'm going to be using on a daily basis. I want to say thank you to Anycubic for sending me this printer, and thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.